Hi, I'm Treasurer Dennis Milligan. I'd like to welcome our Kansans to our office in the state capitol to view the new Arkansas Military Veterans Hall of Fame that was recently unveiled. Thank you to our nation's finest, both past and present, who have fought for the freedoms we all enjoy today. Brigadier General William Orlando Darby, Fort Smith, Arkansas, deceased, is represented tonight by Mr. Emery Dothry, Jr., President of the William O. Darby Foundation, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Brigadier General Darby was a West Point graduate commissioned in 1933 in the field artillery. He served in numerous artillery assignments during battery commander in the 99th field artillery before he was ordered to Europe in January 1942 to organize and command the 1st Ranger Battalion in Northern Ireland. At only age 34 and already at the rank of full colonel, he was killed in action on April 30th, 1945 after fighting in North Africa, Sicily, and Italy. But during those intermediate three years, Darby amassed an extraordinary combat record. Two distinguished service crosses, the Silver Star for Gallantry in Action, the Legion of Merit, and four awards of the Purple Heart for Combat Wounds. The French government conferred upon him the French Coy de Gar with Silver Star. The Russian government conferred upon him the third degree order of the Kusazov. The Italian government confirmed upon him Cavalier of the Military Order of Italy, and the British government conferred upon him the Distinguished Service Order. In 1943, he was selected as one of America's 10 outstanding young men by the National Junior Chamber of Commerce. Highlights from his service record include the following. In 1943, he led his battalion in repelling three German counterattacks, destroying Mark VI tanks, and capturing over 3,000 enemy soldiers. He once found 52 armed enemy officers hiding in an abandoned hotel, and with 18 men went in with grenades and automatic weapons, and killed or captured every one. He once personally took on an enemy tank with only a 37 millimeter gun and knocked it out. One typical citation reads in part, on the night of 15 March 1943, after five days of savage and almost uninterrupted fighting while employing his rangers in a successful rear, rear guard action, Colonel Darby again displayed extraordinary heroism by remaining at the head of his force, directing the fire. His selfishness and courage displayed by Colonel Darby in the face of intense fire inspired his command to exceedingly greater efforts. He was always conspicuously at the front of his men, leading, prodding, urging, motivating, with complete disregard for enemy artillery, mortar fire, and machine gun fire. He led his rangers across seemingly impenetrable mountain ranges, up sheer cliffs, and through obstacles, and often fought in hand-to-hand -hand combat in assaults upon the enemy. Time after time, he and his rangers were asked to accomplish the impossible. Charismatic, Darby was a soldier's soldier, full of cool recklessness and the yeast of humor and enthusiasm. Near the war's end, Darby had three battalions of rangers, and of the 1,500 original members, only 199 were still alive. Darby was posthumously promoted to Brigadier General in 1945. Lieutenant General Lucien Truscott stated it succinctly, quote, never in this war have I seen a more gallant, heroic officer, unquote. Today, many thousands of soldiers proudly wear the Ranger patch, attesting to the mastery of the exceedingly tough training that Darby developed. He is buried in the National Cemetery in Fort Smith. 